So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do texture painting for absolute beginners inside of Blender. Let's get into the video. Yo guys, so here we are over on the PC. So to start off, all we have to do is just select our mesh that texture paints, uh, go to the material tab and click new. And then by base color, we can click the yellow button, go to image texture, and then make a new image texture. Okay. So I'm just going to make this, uh, I'm just going to take both of these. So I'm going to drag to select both of them. And I'm going to go times two, just uh, 2048. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, you can add like, uh, UV grid and color grid if you want, but it's not necessary. You press OK. And then also for your object, uh, you'll probably have UVs, but my object doesn't. So I'm just going to go U, unwrap, and smart UV project. This is not really good for UV unwrapping, but it will do the trick for what we have to do. Okay. So now you can do is just go to Control Tab, go to Texture Paints, and you can see our object is completely black. And that's because by default, when you make a new, uh, a new image, it will be black because uh, when you press new, uh, you can see color, okay? So let me change it back to Untitled. Uh, you can also save this image as so we go to Texture Paint. Uh, this is the, the, what's it, the image editor. And then we can, if you open this image, we can go, uh, what's it, save as desktop uh, reference, like that, okay? And then that will save it externally. But yeah, okay, so to start off, these are like all the settings that you have. So on the left side, we have draw, we have smooth, we have smear, we have clone, we have uh, fill, and then we have mask. Mask doesn't really work that well. Um, but yeah, so here uh, we can go start painting. We have a bunch of different blend modes, so I'll just use mix by default. You have radius, which is just F, normal, shift F for strength. And then you have your color picker, okay? So obviously you just pick your color. Uh, you can change it over here. So you can draw on, just press left click, like a normal thing. Um, so you paint on like that. And then you have the second slot over here. So what you can do is you can click on that, uh, you can flip them and then change the color. So here it will make it a green. So now if I draw, I can press control and then draw and that will do the opposite color that's on the second part, okay? So then we just have color palettes. So you can just press new and then it will show up with palette zero, zero, one, it should be, but yeah. So this is the default palette that Blender comes with, I think. So we can just go with, yeah. And then if you want to add a color to it, this is, it will take the color that is default or that you've already picked. So if you press plus, it will add it over here, okay? And then you can go change your color, add it in, change it again, add it in. So there, so you can start building up a color palette and then you can also adjust the position of them with these, okay? And then sort them. So you can see it like this. So now we can just, to use the color palette, you just click double click on it and it'll change your color. Or just left click, I mean, see like that, okay? And then obviously you could use Shift F to make it not as uh, transparent, um, yeah. Okay. Then you also have textures. Okay. So with texture painting with textures is it will take the actual color. So yeah, let me just pull in an image. Okay. So you see here, uh, I've pulled in a good texture. Okay. So if you can see if I paint, you can see it doesn't affect it, but if you look deep closely, you can see it's blue. So it's painting in with blue. So if we change it to white, so we change the com color to completely white, so like this, okay? Then you can see if we paint, it will paint a skin texture. So it will paint the exact same image. Um, and it's the exact same way you will do it in the sculpting. If you go to texture, uh, you can see it has tiled. So you can't really see the seams now, but yeah. Um, then we have, uh, what's it? We have view plane, which was painted from our view. So doesn't really, sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. You have stencil, so like this, so there. Um, then you have, oh, and then you also have image aspect, which will make it, so if we reset transform, you can see it's a square image. But if you say image aspect, that'll be the size it put, pulled it in with, okay? And then you also have random, which will just paint it in a random direction and size, I think. And then 3D will like, 
represents it in 3D. It doesn't really work well. Um, yeah, so that's the different settings. Okay, and as well, if you pull in a texture mask, okay, and then you do the same thing, so make a new, and then we can open an image, so that'll be the same black and white one, and then we go choose a color, okay, we choose a color now, you can see it starts painting it the color that we want, so you can just change it to stencil, uh, just like the other one, so we have stencil, uh, image aspect, it's fun, so it's all right click to change the position, but yeah, so that is how to use uh, sensors and stuff. Cool. Okay, so so let's just set up like a, a new color palette, so like this, and then we can start painting like an actual rock. So we can choose like a gray here, and there, or we could just use the full bucket. So if you want to have the same colors on every brush, you can just click this button over here. So now if you change it, you can see if you go between them, it will have the same color, okay? So I'm just going to fill it in, and we can go to paint. So let's say we can add this color to the thing, and we can add a slightly brighter color, and then start getting it around the corners, like the edges. Start like lightening it up. So let's make it a bit brighter. So like this, so it's like scratches almost. And then we add it to the color palette. So basically like that. So just use all your tools that uh, I've shown you in this video to start painting. Yo guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to texture paint in Cloud of Blender. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe for more Blender content just like this. So, have a great day and keep them blendering. Cheers.